the term that was given born into the world and immediately I was smitten with the idea of protecting this title, an egotistical rival, a fighting temptation too powerful to move, it stays idle. Growing up as an Indian, braiding my hair and wearing long skirts was genuine. However, the idea of protecting the word didn't become a mission until I started believing in really existing. When I started learning about my history, my rights, my legacy, and strength within the means of the First Nations people, I never realized that the fight started with fighting myself, and that we were never equal, continuing the story on our own like the Star Wars sequel. You see, as Indians, we are given a word that says it's always going to be us versus them. But when we look deep within, we find the fight is actually us versus us and them. We see that the fight for the title is like a boxing championship tournament. It turns out to be more like a fight within our people against our people, an internal war conflict filled with image versus image to our men. There are Indians who are granddaughters and grandsons of those of Indians who went to residential school, and the cycle of abuse started with physical and sexual, then continued to be emotional and mental, lateral violence straight constantly spinning on a thread spool. Then this thread continually sewn into a blanket of generational effects of cultural genocide and colonization. We protect the title and the realness of our culture gets frozen in the European Eurocentrism refrigeration. The blanket is what we wrap our babies in when they are born and teach them that. To protect the Indian is to save the culture. However, we never see that what we are saving is the first intent of General Custer. The coldness that comes from the refrigeration storing up all the true identity is what motivates us to warm ourselves with this blanket, sickness, and entity. From the beginning, there was a blanket that gave sickness, secretly hiding the historical secrets in the warmth the false kindness of people covering themselves in lies and regrets. The coldness that comes from this refrigerator is more like a stall narrator frozen by fear and unknowing of what would happen if the true story was growing unbeknownst, like a tall pine tree that smells so strong in the forest. I wish it was a new day where we could tell the truth. People don't fear it, they adore it.